What's up, mystery fans? So, in light of Voldemort, let's uh, let's talk a little bit. We're uh, practicing this here, social distancing and some crazy stuff. I gotta tell you. It's a little frustrating, but we're going to talk about an event, do a little bit of a review, and uh, maybe I'll show you guys another piece of the collection. In fact, let's do that right now. from stock I can't even begin to tell you guys I don't have my key on me but this thing's pretty cool we got some additional lights up in here they run a as a daytime running light they also function as a turn signal side to side uh, went to a trimmed up daytime running light turn signal combination in the stock location, of course, added lowers, <clears throat> homebrew pipe. I added a fixed mount tour pack, everything's wired up. So, what do you know about that, guys? It's nothing hot. I think it's got a Screaming Eagle 204 set of cams in it. I can't remember the number off the top of my head. It is what I chose, it is a Harley Screaming Eagle cam set, and it is not much from there. Like I say, homebrew pipe that my father and I built actually made really good numbers, which surprised a lot of people, especially the guys at the shop when I took it in to get a dyno. And they looked at it and the fact that it wasn't a manufactured, and they're like, okay, till they saw the numbers. I love exhaust work. So for me, it was something I could do and make it my own and it worked <clears throat> it's not huge it's like 98 horse 109 foot pounds of torque um, so it's nothing it's definitely not a hot rod but it suffices so on to what really matters today for you guys that are Cletus fans, I know I am. We had a nice public event last night. Mountain Dew. Last night was the Freedom Factory Freedom 500 19 nitrous fed Crown Victorias on a three-eighths oval. Whew, what a show. Now, let's talk about it. This was a pay-per-view event. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Especially if this event creates revenue and, you know, they maybe take in some feedback from the community going forward from here some things that you know could really be looked at and, and, and built upon in the future are primarily a little bit of event organization it was a great event but when Spicy Spence was done with that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. And for those of us that saw it, it might not have sounded as excellent as it really did, unless you paid attention to the part where 
the feed into the stream dropped out and we were just picking up the track audio on the speakers and it took away that breakup on that mic and dude's got some lungs he did a good job but at the end when he says gentlemen start your engines we want to hear them things light off and unfortunately with cletus the headliner the man who had the audacity to win his own race, which, come on. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered who won it, but the fact that Cletus won his own race, I think it's awesome. But had Cletus been in the car, not up there, and I understand he wants to be involved, but it would have been awesome for all of us race fans to hear those things light off. But that's where I say a little bit of organization. Ah, a little bit of organization, preparation. As far as the event itself, I thought it went really well. It was enjoyable. The feed, I guess the production value could use some work. And they know this. They went into it saying that this is their first attempt at anything like this so they were gonna be off they almost need to do their live feed on a lag and, and right now you know given Voldemort locking the world down it's not as feasible but I almost think that if they do the event like this they almost need to set up give us like a five minute lag. I know, I know, we want it live. But if they lag or if they bring in a crew and do it live to cut, to do these replays, to have somebody in a room controlling the feed, running all of these monitors, all these feeds in so that they can switch between, that way when they do that live replay or that, that freedom replay, they can hit different angles and stay on a different camera instead of just running back the feed. But again, it's all a learning curve. So in the end, it was awesome. Now, something that would be really cool is for in the future of the Freedom Factory, and it will depend greatly on how the insurance and whatnot is on Cletus's track, but to be able to bring in other competitors, you know? And I don't just mean other influencers. Other influencers would be great. But how cool would it be for this to be open to the public? And not necessarily in the, you know, full on anybody can come, but set it up with, you know, let's do this event and run a couple different heats, you know, lop it off and say, you know, we want 20 cars on track. So we do two heats of 20 cars at 10 laps and then take your time, your top contenders and put them in a final that's the way things are done already. You know, you got you got your mains and your your heat races. All this exists, but on the less restrictive rules and the more fun sense, do a 10, 15 lap race and pick through. And then you can do classes at that point. You can do a front wheel drive class, a, you know, an all V8 class and an exhibition class, you know, and, and I understand, you know, you still, we still need to have a certain amount of safety regulation and, and whatnot, but it would be really cool to see, especially if, you know, within a certain set of guidelines, just like any other race event, but not so strict, you know, hey, you've got a front wheel drive four cylinder class and it's all stick shift. So, people bringing in old Neons, 
stick shift focuses, stuff like that. And, you know, really our only limitation is, is, you know, pretty much stock motor. You know, we pop the hood, you don't have a big turbo or anything crazy on it. If it looks like it's stock, go out and run it. You're on street tire, you know. But that's all things to come. Overall, it was a pretty cool event. It was awesome to watch. It was a good time. And I thought the whole thing was neat. The the car lottery with having the cars supplied and, and everybody decorating their own car was a really, really cool showing. A really good first outing. And frankly, I would watch it again. With that said, I ain't got much more. You guys... Have a good one. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.